Hello everyone! Today we are visiting the Mammoth Hot Springs in the north of Yellowstone Park and then taking a scenic float trip down the Yellowstone River. We were staying in West Yellowstone, Montana near the west entrance to the park which is around 53 miles from the Mammoth Hot Springs. It could take between one and a half to two hours by car depending on the traffic. It took us a little over two hours but the scenery makes it feel so much quicker than that. The parking lot was almost full, but we found a parking spot easily. People are always coming and going here, so just wait a bit and someone will pull out soon enough. We are now at the lower terraces area, the trails area, and we're going to do this first, and then after our afternoon rafting trip, we'll come back and do the upper terraces if we still have energy left. Here we are passing the Beaver Ponds Loop Trail. It's a five mile loop through meadows and aspen groves, culminating in a few beaver ponds. It's a great trail for viewing wildlife, but not for viewing the terraces. We're walking now towards Liberty Cap. That's a 37 foot tall rock structure created by mineral deposits that build up over hundreds of years from internal water pressure. It looks like there's another small parking area here, but who's going to go back and move the car now? There are signs in some places which help to explain where you are and what you're going to see, as well as some educational tidbits about how the terraces are constantly changing and reforming themselves. In the very beginning, the boardwalk is level, but soon enough there will be steep inclines and lots of steps, so beware. Here we are at Devil's Thumb, another rock formation from the hot springs. No clue how they come up with these names. I was thinking, I wish there was a way to take all of this awesome scenery, put it in a bottle, and uncork it whenever I need to look at awesomeness. Up until now, the boardwalk was pretty level. Now it's starting to incline a bit. Here, some people found a bit of shade. Otherwise, there's really not much shade, and it was around noontime in August, so the sun was starting to feel hot. Here we came to a fork of sorts. I think it's a loop. So it really doesn't matter which way we go, and since we still had our energy, we took the steps. Ah, some more shade, yay! Here you can see how many steps we've climbed so far. This is not so easy, but so worth it. Finally, we are at the very top. This is actually part of the upper terraces and we'll take the car up here later after our rafting trip. It's a long way up to get here, but from here back to the parking lot is downhill all the way. The rafting we did was the easy one. It's called a scenic float trip down the Yellowstone River. I'll make another video on that. After that scenic float trip, we drove back to the Mammoth Hot Springs, this time to the upper terraces. The road is a one-way loop with scenic overlooks where you can park and take a look. It's not as scenic as the walk we did in the morning, but if you have trouble walking or doing steps, then this is another way to see the terraces. At this point, the sun is starting to set and the temperature is probably 10 degrees cooler than it was in the earlier part of the day when we hiked the lower terraces. The view is still beautiful, but from this point, you can't see the details of the terraces and the many interesting geothermal features we came across along the way. I definitely recommend the lower terrace area if you have to pick only one. And pack plenty of water, you'll need it. My next video will review our scenic flow trip. Please subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I upload that video. And thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.